Does the floor test mean game over for Ruddhav? Ruddhav Sena fighting the inevitable. Shinde Sena waits for final pounds. But Uddhav Sena says, picture abhi baki hai. Shinde goes for the kill. What an incredible, ruthless roller coaster the last seven days have been, viewer. It was one week ago, last Tuesday, at 8.26 in the morning, that India today broke the story that has set the last one week's news agenda. You've seen it dominating the headlines because of India Today's news break, and that's the, also the reason why India Today has been the most watched channel, because we've been ahead. And now, as this second week rolls on, it looks like the Shinde Sena is ready to pounce for the kill and end the matter once and for all and perhaps tie up with the BJP and form the government in Maharashtra. Is that really going to happen? Are there any more hurdles in front of Shinde Sena or does the Udhav Sarkar still has a few aces up its sleeve? I'm going to break it down for you. I'm Shivarur. This is Five Live and these are the headlines. Bolstered with numbers, Eknath Shinde flashes a wave of confidence. He's drawn out from his hotel after India Today's reporters request him to come out. He tells our channel he's carrying forward Bala Sahib Thakre's Hindutva and will be in Mumbai soon. Straight questions from India Today and answers from the big newsmaker of the day. Trailing massively in the numbers game. Meanwhile, in faraway Mumbai, Udhav government may approach Supreme Court if the governor orders a floor test. Chief Minister will attend what could be his final cabinet meeting through video link in an hour from now. Possible Maharashtra power sharing formula being worked out as we speak. Shinde faction may get 13 ministerial berths. BJP looking at 29 ministerial berths. Fadnavis to meet Amit Shah in Delhi any moment now. Maharashtra governor seeks details of Udav government's file clearance spree amidst the political crisis. Will Governor Koshiari order a floor test for the Agadi government? Let's never forget the big flood crisis in Assam. 21 lakh affected as floods wreak havoc in the eastern state. Thousands, thousands turn homeless. At least 134 dead so far in surging waters. Barpeta district, the worst hit in Assam. The cabinet meeting that's coming up in just a short while from now in Maharashtra, there is huge speculation and suspense over whether this could be the last cabinet meeting of the Udhav Thakre government. Sources telling India today that with the BJP and Shinde camp weighing possible options for government formation before this weekend, all eyes are on Udhav's cabinet meeting that kicks off in just a few minutes from now. Udhav Thakre had called on Sharad Pawar before the cabinet meeting today. He called him rather, not called on. And sources are telling us that Pawar has con convinced Udhav not to give up without a fight. Sharad Pawar, remember, has been instrumental so far in energizing Udhav and forcing him not to to throw in the towel and resign. Also breaking via our sources, Udhav Thakre has gotten in touch with the Congress High Command. Remember, the Congress is the third member of the Agadi Sarkar. So Udhav Thakre has reached out to the Congress High Command before this upcoming cabinet meet, over which there is huge speculation whether it will be the last cabinet meeting of the Udhav Thakre government. I want to go across to our frontline reporters from Mumbai to Guwahati tracking the story live. I want to go across to Sahil, uh, Sahil Joshi first. Sahil, uh, cabinet meeting which Udhav Thakre will be addressing via video link. 
What are we expecting to see? He's had a conversation with Sharad Pawar before that as well. You know, there are lots of, you know, lots of discussions that are taking place in Delhi, which could have an impact on what happens over the next few days in Maharashtra. What do you see this cabinet meeting, uh, you know, about? And, uh, you know, could there be some decisions taken there, Sahil? Well, Shiv, let's understand the background of this cabinet meeting first, because yesterday, yeah. Uh, some of the senior ministers uh, from the Maharashtra cabinet met with Uddhav Thakre. Uh, mm. we, we, these ministers include the Home Minister Dilip Walse Patil, uh, uh, the Water Resource Minister Jayan Patil, and also the PW minister, uh, PWD Minister uh, Ashok Chavan, uh, who is from Congress, and also the Maharashtra Pradesh Congress Committee Chief uh, Nana Patole also met him yesterday. All these people requested Uddhav Thakre that you should be holding the weekly cabinet meeting as usual. Let's, uh, you know, uh, show to the people of Maharashtra that we are working as a government uh, as normal as possible. Yeah. Uh, there have been complaints made to the to the governor that, uh, uh, you know, many decisions are being taken despite the government uh, has lost the majority or, you know, th there is a political crisis. Despite that, since last uh, four days, a lot of decisions have been taken. There are a lot of government resolutions who have been, which has been passed uh, against which uh, the governor has asked the chief secretary to give the details to him and accordingly uh, the future government may take some decisions with respect to that. But before that, all these ministers met, the leaders met and requested Uddhav Thakre to continue as normal as possible. And that is the reason why today the cabinet meeting was called. Now, the first the cabinet meeting was called at 2.30. Uh, but uh, during that time, he spoke to Sharath Pawar. After that, he released one uh, uh, a statement of his. Uh, which was kind of an emotional statement and again making it clear to the MLAs. Uh, you know, it looked like that he was more talking to his cadre because there have been a lot of complaints from the MLAs uh, that the way Sanjay Raut is speaking, the, uh, they had also mentioned Sanjay Raut some of the remarks uh, in the petition as well that when Sanjay Raut said that uh, 40 bodies, corpses will come to uh, Mumbai and the post, uh, their postpartum will happen inside the assembly house. So, uh, uh, to, to, to uh, kind of uh, soothe the situation, he spoke, uh, he made this uh, statement before going to the cabinet and after that, at 5 o'clock, now the cabinet is happening. Now, what is the difference in this cabinet? Uh, Shiv Sena's minister Anil Parap, uh, Subhash Desai mm. and Aditya Thakre have reached Mantralay. Uh, these are the only three ministers now left with uh, Uddhav Kam. Uddhav Thakre himself will be addressing this cabinet uh, through video conferencing. Uh, he has spoken to the Congress High Command before going to the cabinet. But what I'm hearing is that the Shiv Sena leadership, uh, Sanjay Raut, Anil Desai, Anil mm. Desai is in, uh, he, Shiv Sena MP is in right now Delhi. Uh, they are also preparing in the case if the governor asks Uddhav Thakre that prove your majority in the house, they yes. will immediately rush to the Supreme Court. That is the preparation they have already made. So right now, there are there is a huge speculation whether Uddhav Thakre will go for resignation and avoid okay. further conflict with BJP and the Shinde camp or uh, most importantly, will he fight for the Shiv Sena group because that is the crucial matter. What yeah. BJP wants is that Shiv Sena, uh, the Shinde group becomes the original Shiv Sena legislative party group whereas yes. the Uddhav camp, camp wants that his group should be identified as a Shiv Sena legislative party group and the Shinde group can be split away group Maybe there will not be any action as per the anti-defection law, but eventually they will have to merge with some other party. So this game is going to be a legal game. Now, whether Uddhav Thakre, before going into this legal battle, will he give up is the question. Okay. Which uh, answer we will get in this cabinet, that's why this cabinet is going to be crucial. My sources say that this cabinet is his last cabinet because anyways, he doesn't have the number. The yeah. government looks like that uh, doesn't have the majority. Uh, Sena camp keeps claiming that they are in touch with almost 20 to 25 MLAs who are messaging Uddhav Thakre saying that they are still with Shiv Sena. They have released mm. the videos uh, to that effect. But, you know, that is that is, uh, you know, that is is creating a confusion because anyways, uh, Eknath Shinde and the BJP and uh, the governor, all three of them in unanimous voice has been claiming that yes. Shinde group is the, is the main Shiv Sena legislative party which yeah, is yet to be right. solved and that is the reason why uh, Uddhav Thakre's claim that 20 to 25 MLAs are with him, basis on the SMSs he have received from these 20 to 25 MLAs okay. is yet to be tested and that can only be tested once these MLAs come back to Mumbai. So that is so, a very tricky situation. What I can see that if he doesn't resign today, then there is going to be another legal battle fought in the Supreme Court. 
if Supreme Court That's goes a... in the favor of Uddhav Thakre with respect to the legislative party leader, then half uh, battle won because he anyway knows that his government is going to go. Now the battle is for the uh, uh, the tag of Shiv Sena legislative party. No, it's which a very be interesting again... point you're making, Sahil. You're making an extremely important point because you're saying that if Udhav Thakre doesn't resign today, then the the legal battle takes on another, you know, an, goes to the next level already. And I'm sure that the rival rebel camp is already sort of war gaming this entire situation and preparing for that. They have their own legal counsel as well because each side is trying to outwit the other and stay ahead of the game. Vidya is right outside Matushri. That's where Udhav Thakre is addressing the cabinet meeting from. Vidya, what is the sense you're getting? You know, uh, this is not just any ordinary cabinet meet. There's a huge amount of pressure on Udhav over whether this could be the last act, the last cabinet meeting. Could there be some kind of dramatic decision, resignation-wise, at this meeting, given that post this, the numbers simply don't hold. There is no, you know, saving this government if it comes down to a floor test. Well, Shiv, uh, one that the Shiv Sena as well as the MVA uh, entirely has been saying that they, uh, Uddhav Thakre will not resign. Hmm. They will go to the floor test if it need be. But at this moment, they are very sure. Like yesterday, we had seen uh, Nana Patole. You know, his body language after coming out from the meeting of uh, meeting of uh, meeting Uddhav Thakre was. Uh, Extremely, you know, he was very irritated, very, very, uh, you know, he, and speaking in a tone that he 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 doesn't generally speak. But uh, he did uh, want to emphasize, uh, like like at least five times, he said that you know that this government will complete its term of five years. So, uh, in spite of me asking him whether how will the entire co coalition survive when there are no numbers to it, and he kept saying the numbers are there, the numbers are there. So obviously, you know, uh, the MV is still trying to put up the front that they. Will Will survive. This, according to them, is not the last cabinet. Even yeah. Vinay Krauts, who just went in, uh, you know, one of our colleagues just spoke to him. He said very clearly that this is not the last uh, cabinet. Every week, the uh, you know, this government will be holding their cabinet, and they expect it to continue even beyond this entire threat, which has emanated because of some of the MLAs going out. So they are very sure that they will survive this. How is the only issue? But they think that they, the strategies that they are drawing up would help them in surviving this particular backlash that they are suffering right now. Stay, stay with me, stay with me, Vidya, uh, Sahil, Mustafa, and Polomi. Sanjay Raut, who's been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate, right hand man of Udav Thakre, is about to speak once again in Mumbai. Let, there he is, that's a live frame of Sanjay Raut in Mumbai. He's about to speak. Polomi or Sahil will translate for us. We'll just get that set. He's about to speak once again. This is going to be very interesting. Remember, Sanjay Raut has issued all manner of threats to the rebel MLA sitting in Guwahati. He's seen as the man with the hatchet, uh, you know, the man who's been issuing the threats. Let's listen in for a moment. Sanjay Raut speaking. <laughs> Diba Patil he fought the Agri Samadachi Nathan of the Tea Jilia Tilani Maharashtra till Kasta Karanchi Nathan. Mitanchi led him Maharashtra fight. You take it here and Naira, Kasta Karan. That he got him on a Diba Patil display. The Chamaritana Pokta, Eka Samaja put the Marathi Tonaka, the Mutan. Balasa Takaranjit is so carried. But Mara Yachi Sava Mavashi would like a lucky caracrum. A black caracrum, correct Ayasavena. Correct caracrum to Mantata. Bagana Piti Motas and Kena Maila, you get a Malaku Bacharavat. We are studying. It's not a pilot. The Malay is there. Salad is there. Drushani is there. I can see that lot of uh, Shiv Sainiks are have gathering here. There are a lot of women supporters of Shiv Sena have also gathered here. The MLAs have left, but the ground level Shiv Sainik, uh, I can see still here. Sanjay Raut is speaking in Alibagh in the Raigad district. 
This is the area where, from where maximum number of MLAs have gone to Guwahati. उठेस, नहीं माता पाया तो ऑपरेशन डालम, अने ऑपरेशन डाला और मैं लगे तो आराम कराए लाऊं मटर, तो कुछ आराम कर तो आज I called up the MLA from your area. He told me that I am not well. Um, I have just been operated and I have come back. And after that, what I see is that he is in Guwahati. okay. <laughs> All these people are liars. Radiation blue, apna ali bagla sudde. Tikar le bagla uttam. Dombur apna ali bagla nahi ka. Kankeshwar hai, Aguna hai. Sogre ali bagla, jhari hamse ali bagla nahi. Baga ja un bahar nisar ka kaay to. Pan hatil, dombur, jhari. Jata jail madhe baslet radiation blue cha. All these MLAs who have gone to Guwahati are not in the hotel but in jail in Guwahati. The MLAs have gone, but now what we are seeing in Maharashtra are the Shiv Senics and Shiv Sena. Next time we'll see the new MLAs will be elected from these areas. Only MLAs are not there, but rest of the Shiv Sena is here in Maharashtra and is with us. Manur Shet, Braga, Manur Shet has a day of the other day. Take Barash the Agri Samaja Majama. He Nava put a shit. Maja Marathi Master Sadi Adivana Ji was there. But the Gujarati Samala Shet name. अमचकड़ एक समाज ऐसा है अमचर आयकर जिले में दे ठाणे में दे कि तला शेट मंटा बबन शेट मनोर शेट क्यों आ दादा ते वाट ठाणे आते भाई ला एक डे दादा भारी पड़ते ये प्रचंड सभा है मुंबई तुन मोठा प्रमाण मिडिया आले रहे मोठा प्रमाण मुंबई तुन मिडिया आले a lot of media has come from Mumbai. They think that ED will arrest me. I have already told them that come and arrest me, but whatever happens, I will not go to Guwahati. But we will never leave Shiv Sena. We will never defame Bala Sahib Thakre's name. Okay, that was uh, that was uh, Sanjay Rao, the man who has been projecting, uh, you know, the threats at the rebel MLA sitting in Guwahati. He's the one who's been saying, "Inka postmortem ho jayega. Come back and face the Shiv Sainiks. But uh, Sanjay Raut, remember, has been the big voice of the Shiv Sena right through this entire crisis so far. There's been blow hot and blow ho cold from Sanjay Raut, who's been issuing threats down to Udhav Thakre, who has softened his stance now and reached out in an emotional manner to the Shinde rebels sitting in Gohati. Will they return to Mumbai before the end of the week is the big Big question at this point of time. I want to show you. I want to show you. You've just heard Sanjay Raut's attack. Now let's show you how Udhav Thakre has appealed in a much gentler manner to the Shinde camp. Now with Eknath Shinde's grip tightening on the Agadi government, Udhav Thakre has tabled another emotional appeal. It's his fifth in the last four days. Udhav's fresh gambit comes in the backdrop of the rebel camp led by Eknath Shinde, breaking his silence for the first time since the upheaval on camera. Shinde claimed outside the Radisson Blue Hotel that he will return to Mumbai very shortly and that he and his Sena 
will carry forward the legacy of Bala Sahib's Hindutva. Udhav has told the rebel MLAs in this message to come forward and speak to him to clear all existing doubts. He's told them that he considers them to still be Shiv Senics and that together they can overcome the challenges ahead. Not just that, Udhav has warned the rebel MLAs not to fall prey to missteps. Very clearly, he means the BJP and Devendra Fadnavis. Lots of reactions on that, listener. <laughs> एक कुछ लाई कुटुम मत बांडे ला बांडे जर लागला तो उते एकादा आपला मूलगा जर केवल मूलगी ही रुसुन गेली तर आई वडील ये सगड़ा पोटा दियोन तो प्रश्न सोड़ो था बाला सेवन नी स्वता ते हायात अस्ता ना तेंसा उत्तर अधिकारी मरुन उद्धवजी ना या संपूर्ण खूब मोटी जवाबदारी होती खरातर शिवसेनेजी ती � शिंदे साहेब आम चे नेता है आम्मी आज जे का गुवाहाटी आलो आहोत ये आम् स्वेच्छे ने आम् नांदगा माझा नांदगा विधानसभा मतदार संघाच विकास करना आम को ही प्रेसर नहीं को ही दबाव नहीं आम्मी इतने सर्व हसत खेल रहता आहोत आत्या ही नेत्या शिवसेना नवे तो इतर कुछ पक्षा नेत्या आम्मी संपर्क नहीं आम्मी शिंदे साहब बरबर आहोत आ मरेपर्यंत हिंदुत्वा साथी आने नांगा विधान सभा नांगा विधान सभा मतदार संघ चल विकास साथी शिंदे साहब बरबरस राव जय हिंद जय मार्च the man behind the storm in Maharashtra finally broke his silence he came out of his hotel for the first time reeking exuding confidence as the rebel camp's numbers continue to swell with each day one more MLA seems to be adding to Eknath Shinde Sena. He's now promised to return to Mumbai in direct response to an India Today question as soon as the battle over Bala Sahib's legacy continues to peak. Here's more on how Eknath Shinde, the man of the moment really, came out from his hotel for the first time in the last one week to speak first on India Today. The swag of confidence, the man of the moment, Rebel leader Eknath Shinde waving from outside his Gohati hotel, sending a message to his turf, calling his followers the real Shiv Sena, who are carrying forward Bala Sahib Thakre's Hindutva legacy. Our Bala Sahib Thakre, Hindutva ki jo baat hai, hum log aage le ja rahe aur Shiv Sena mein hum log hai aur Shiv Sena ko aage le le ja rahe. Retorting to the Udhav Sena's taunts to come back to Mumbai. Gaya bhai, ki wa tane gaya karun gaya kele lae, yani yawa. Pahila jana raho, tami sagre jana raho. Teja madhe kai kaidi karne cha awa shakta nahi. The confidence stems from these images. Over two thirds of the Shiv Sena's MLAs are rooting for Eknath Shinde. And 14 of 18 Sena MPs are reportedly in touch with the rebel base. It may be just a matter of time before Shinde ties up with the BJP officially. The combine, once final, can claim the backing of nearly 170 MLAs way ahead of the diminished Maha Aghadi Sarkar. Ex-Chief Minister and the BJP's frontal face in Maharashtra, Devendra Padnavis, is already closeted with top party bosses in the capital. Padnavis earlier air-dashed to Delhi, flanked by top legal eagle Mahesh Jait Malani. The BJP and Shinde Sena are likely to formalise their power-sharing formula, which may involve a Deputy Chief Minister post for rebel leader Shinde and as many as 13 ministerial berths, including eight cabinet positions for his loyalists. The BJP is planning to keep 29 berths for itself. The independents and smaller parties may too get accommodated. But the BJP and Shinde still have one final hurdle to cross. Make Udha face his enemy number one, a floor test, and script the downfall of the Aghadi Sarkar, all the while keeping Shinde's flock firmly together. With Polomi Saha in Guwahati and Milan Sharma and Aishwarya Paliwal in Delhi, your report in the day. 
And this is why Udhav Thakre is staring at mathematical inevitability. If it comes down to a floor test, it's game over for the Aghadi Sarkar. Because look at the numbers. These are, these are not opinion numbers. These are the numbers that stand as they are at this point of time. The Shiv Sena has 16 MLAs. The BJP has 106. The NCP has 55. The Congress has 44. The Sena rebels are 39 and the other rebels are 9. So 39 plus 9, that's 48 uh, rebels who are currently with the with the Shinde Sena right now. The majority mark is 143. That's a total of 285. Now, if a floor test happens, the Mahavikas Aghadi has 117 MLAs. That's the uh, leftovers of the Udhav Sena plus the NCP and the Congress. Now, the BJP plus the Shinde camp and the other rebels adds up to 168, which is way beyond the halfway mark. That easily crosses the magic number to form a government in Maharashtra. So as the numbers stand right now, the Shinde camp plus the BJP have many more numbers than required to stake claim and win a floor test to form the government. Now, amidst all this political turmoil in Maharashtra, there's a huge huddle happening as we speak in the national capital. So this is a story that's playing out in three different theatres, Mumbai, Guwahati and Delhi. The Maharashtra crisis has entered its final lap with former Chief Minister and the BJP's Maharashtra face, Devendra Fadnavis, landing earlier today in Delhi and he has met with BJP Chief J.P. Nadda at his residence. The BJP High Command has directly entered the Maharashtra battle with this. Fadnavis will also be meeting Home Minister Amit Shah today, and all eyes are on how that meeting goes. Fadnavis may also meet B.L. Santosh, the National General Secretary of the BJP, as well. The meet comes at a time when there's huge speculation if the Shinde Sena will join hands with the BJP. It seems to be pretty inevitable at this point of time to form that government in Maharashtra but for that to happen, a floor test first needs to happen. And we want to now show you a little viral clip from November 2021. You're not going to believe it. You need to watch this very carefully, viewer, because it's actually quite incredible. This actually happened. India Today... In November 2021, many months ago, had asked Devendra Fadnavis during a routine interview about a possible Shinde rebellion. India Today's Kamlesh Sutar and Sahil Joshi had asked Fadnavis if he has a Shinde ace in Maharashtra like the Sindhya factor in Madhya Pradesh. Sindhya comes from the name Shinde in Maharashtra, from where they trace their roots. About whether the Sindhya who had joined the BJP from the Congress, does the BJP have someone similar like that in Maharashtra? Take a look at the reaction. This video is going viral today. Sahil, that's an incredible viral clip that we've got, you know, from November 2021, uh, you know, where you're talking about whether the BJP has a Shinde in Maharashtra as well. Uh, you know, I'm not surprised because it's uncanny looking at that clip now and, you know, the way you know, that, that knowing way in which Fadnavis actually laughs. But, but, you know, on a serious note, while that video is going viral, Fadnavis is very much in Delhi, speaking to the high command. Obviously, the Shinde camp is also in touch with the BJP. What are you hearing about that, that Bhatchit, uh, Sahil? Well, uh, now, you know, now the time has come to act because yeah. uh, I can tell you uh, uh, with a fact that even if there are 39 MLAs at this point of time there in Guwahati, everybody has 
uh, every MLA has his own reason to be there. You know, hmm. some people might be there because of the fear from the central agencies. Some people definitely might be there because they were unhappy with the way the Congress NCP alliance were worked out by Uddhav Thakre. Some people might be there because they were actually angry with Uddhav Thakre the way he was running his administration. But there are some MLAs there who think that. Uh, uh, because the majority MLAs are going on that side, there is a possibility that, that the chances of uh, making the government on the other side is more than that of being stayed with, if they would have stayed with uh, Uddhav Thakre. So, these are the MLAs needs to be keep, uh, uh, kept in a good humor at this point of time. And uh, uh, Shiv Sena's game plan clearly can be seen is to, you know, uh, increase the time as much as possible. Use all the political tools to extend the date for uh, the no confidence motion. The moment that will start, there will be an uncanny e uneasiness within the MLAs who are staying at this point of time in Guwahati and that is the, you know, the game which is normally played when such kind of political turmoil happens. Uh, not all the MLAs are completely unhappy with the, the political leadership. Even if they are unhappy, they don't want to leave Shiv Sena. That is point number one. Now, what discussion might be happening between Shinde and the BJP camp is that Eknath Shinde might be, of course, telling the BJP camp that do it as early as possible. It's been already a week uh, and uh, we have been staying here in Guwahati. We are away from our constituencies. There are multiple questions being raised. Uh, the Shiv Sena touring across Maharashtra have, uh, have sent uh, their leaders uh, in various constituencies to talk to the Shiv Sena cadre. So, to avoid that, the, mm. uh, the sooner we come to Mumbai, uh, it will be better. The sooner your government is formed, that will be better. Now, what, what, you know, what, what, what more they want? Of course, they want to be part of the government. Of course, they want the cabinet berths. So, uh, the formula being worked out, whether mm, the Iknath mm. Shinde will be made uh, deputy chief minister, will the formula be uh, eight cabinet and five uh, uh, MOS minister of state the way it was there in 2014 to 2019? Yeah. BJP Shiv Sera government. How will they adjust the remaining MLAs? Because everybody wants to have uh, a pie of uh, this power. Uh, totally. You know, uh, it mm. cannot happen that only half of the people will get benefited from this power and the rest of the people will continue to be just like MLAs. So, obviously, everybody would like to have a pound of flesh. And that is what uh, they, are, they are looking at at this point of time. So, that discussion will happen. Of course, uh, the most importantly, that how to reach that point is more important because now there are multiple options. The first option, of course, was that the uh, Shinde camp should approach um, the governor and say that we are withdrawing our support from the MBA government, which they don't want to do at this point of time because that will go against Uddhav Thakre. Uh, the second option is that the BJP goes to the governor and say that we are withdrawing the, uh, you know, go for uh, the, uh, 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 the uh, confidence test because uh, looking at the media reports, people are staying there in Guwahati. Uh, it's all murky situation. The government yeah. is not working. Uh, this government is not in the majority, which the BJP doesn't want to do because BJP is not accepting that they are behind uh, this revolt. The mm -hmm. last option is, of course, the independent MLAs and smaller parties like Prahar uh, uh, will approach the governor and say that we are withdrawing our support from MBA, which gives a chance to the governor to ask Uddhav Thakre that I have received such letter, prove your majority. Yeah, I'm also hearing right. some media reports. And, and the last chance, last option, is that the governor Suomoto takes the action and asks Uddhav Thakre to prove the majority, which will, uh, you know, again, will be linked to uh, the BJP. Yes. But whatever the option, the BJP now have to move in swiftly because the number is big. It's not like Madhya Pradesh or Karnataka where the hmm. numbers were not more than 15 to 20, where it was easier to keep all these people together. Here hmm. the number is 50. Even if 10 people cross over, they have lost the game, which they don't want to do. The another fight which they have to win is to keep the name of Shiv Sena Legislative Party with Eknath Shinde. And that is the crucial question. And that is the reason why uh, Devendra Fadnavis have gone to meet JP Nadda as well as Amit Shah today right. in Delhi to sort out that what exactly should happen. They yeah. also know that Uddhav Thakre will approach the Supreme Court. So, they will have to have a strategy to fight him in the Supreme Court as well. So, yeah. there are multiple fights yeah. still remaining. If Uddhav Thakre doesn't uh, doesn't resign, please understand and it's this. It's incredible. If Uddhav it's Thakre incredible. resigns, Sahil, 
that the country's top lawyers have all lined up for the two sides in this tug of war. It's incredible. I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's become the big legal story, uh, uh, you know, of the day right now. And even though all of this is happening in Maharashtra, it's happening in other parts of the country as well. It's a national drama that is playing out. Uh, uh, Kamlesh Sutar is also with us live. Uh, he is the other journalist in that video clip. If we could put that video back on our screens right now, where Sahil and Kamlesh were speaking to Fadnavis and that very ironic moment has gone super viral once again. Uh, Kamlesh, I, I can bet that, I can bet that Mr. Fadnavis has received this clip on WhatsApp today. I can bet that he's, you know, people have shared it with him and saying, remember this. And I can bet that you're waiting to remind him about this clip the next time you meet him. Kamlesh. <laughs> well, certainly, Shiv. Uh, you know, uh, uh, when this uh, government was formed and everybody was eyeing that who could be the weakest link and many yeah. people uh, would put their uh, bet on uh, Shiv Sena because you know initially people thought that it could be from the Congress or the NCP a large chunk would go and join the BJP but uh, we had this uh, inkling of uh, you know uh, Itna Chinde being not very happy within the Shiv Sena because perhaps he was the one uh, who was promised the chief minister's chairs and he didn't get that so we had kept, kept that asking in fact uh, Shiv let me also add uh, when the government completed one year just a few days before the uh, Fadnavis' interview we had also uh, interviewed Ekna Chinde, the man himself. We had asked him that uh, uh, the similar question we had posed to Devendra Fadnavis, like one Chinde uh, or Chinde had gone from Madhya Pradesh, will Maharashtra Chinde be the man for the BJP? And he said no, categorically had denied that question. And the same question when we had put to Devendra Fadnavis, Devendra Fadnavis laughed it out, but we knew that something was cooking at that point of time, although we didn't have a, a, a perfect uh, uh, you know, news of uh, whether it is going to be Ekna Chinde, this is going to be such large. Who had thought then that this could be such a big coup and they would walk away, not just with a few MLAs, but with the entire uh, chunk of this party. And this has become such a big thing. But certainly, I am very sure BJP leaders uh, in Maharashtra who have been watching this clip have been sending uh, those cryptic messages saying, is it the you, uh, uh, you know, is it uh, you all guys who gave him the idea of uh, poaching on Shinde? But jokes <laughs> apart, Shinde has become uh, the biggest uh, talking point in Maharashtra, at least today. And that Devendra Fadnavis interview certainly could have been the hint to what was coming in Maharashtra. Well, clearly, Sahil and uh, Kamlesh, first of all, thank you for that. And secondly, it looks like deliberately or not deliberately, India Today is always the one setting the agenda and breaking the story. So, uh, you know, that clip going viral, no surprises there. Thanks, gentlemen, for joining me on this. I'm going to keep coming back to you on this. Let's show you. I'm going to go to Polomi and Gohati in just a moment. But just to establish and show you, like I said, this is a national drama. You know, the impact of what's happening is on the government of Maharashtra and the people of Maharashtra and the state. Udhav Thakre is in Matoshri in Mumbai, the state capital of Maharashtra, all the way across the country. Look at how national this story is. All the way on the other end, corner of the country is where that rebel base is. Ekna Chinde is in Guwahati in Assam. Devendra Fadnavis, the man who hopes to be the next chief minister of Maharashtra, has just flown from Mumbai to Delhi, so that's where he's camping right now. Sharad Bavar is flitting between Mumbai and Delhi. He keeps traveling between the two places uh, because he's uh, also, you know, supporting Udhav, but he also needs legal advice for the Mahagadi Sarkar. So he's got his camps in both areas. Bhagat Singh Koshyari has been discharged from hospital. The governor of Maharashtra is currently at the Raj Bhavan in Mumbai. But let's go straight to Guwahati, where India today's uh, Polami Saha has been staking it out for the last one week outside the Radisson Blue Hotel. Uh, big day outside the Radisson Blue today, Polami, where where, uh, you know, Eknath Shinde was somehow drawn out from inside that luxury hotel, taking straight questions from you. We saw that across channels. Your questions received those straight answers from Eknath Shinde. He says, I'll be come, you know, why, why would I go to Delhi, he said. I will be coming to Mumbai very soon. Uh, you know, did he keep it that vague? Is there a sense? Because this comes amidst expectation that there could be something happening by Friday. That's right. In fact, you know, uh, Shiv, I was speaking uh, to a top source earlier in the day as well before this episode uh, transpired yeah. here at Hotel Radisson Blue. And I was told uh, that uh, by the weekend, expect some action by the weekend. And I uh, believe that that means the fall of uh, this uh, government is anticipated uh, by the weekend. They are definitely going to stay claim before that. Two to four days, extremely crucial, extremely critical as we watch these gates very, very closely because uh, 
Eknath Shinde said categorically, I'll be leaving for Mumbai very, very soon. Why should I go to Delhi? I'll be going to Mumbai and all of us will be going to Mumbai. All he's waiting for is a word from the Bhartiya Janata Party, we believe, in terms of uh, who should be proceeding forward uh, to the governor house right now. Because what they are doing at the moment, what we've gathered from our sources within this camp, within the BJP, uh, some of the independents that we've been speaking to as well, uh, what they're trying to understand is who should be approaching uh, the governor in this case because it can't be as simple as the Eknath Shinde camp just going there because legally if they get into trouble for it because they're still the legislative party of the Shiv Sena if some aspect of it by law is yeah. found to uh, or deemed to be anti-party etc all of that could get them into trouble especially because uh, court cases are currently um, th there are cases uh, so to say their petitions are pending before uh, the Supreme Court at the moment so all of that legality technicality is being looked into and scrutinized very minutely by lawyers by legal experts before it is decided which bunch will it be the Eknath Shinde camp of the Shiv Sena will it be uh, the independence will it be the independence plus Prahar Jan Shakti yeah. party which is two MLAs that are inside uh, the uh, Hotel Radisson Blue right now who will it be? BJP though, categorically BJP has said, Shiv, that they will not be approaching the governor. So it's these two options or the governor calling for a floor test, Suomoto saying, I've seen media reports and it appears that this government is in minority, which is something the Supreme Court hinted at that the governor could do, Shiv. Polomi, stay with me. Uh, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're, go we're getting some big breaking uh, news in from that final cabinet meeting possibly of Udhav Thakre's. He's decided not to resign as chief minister. There were expectations that he would, uh, you know, give in and resign at this final cabinet meeting. But Udhav has decided not to resign. Sources are telling us that he's got full support from his shrunk cabinet at this meeting. There was Aditya Thakre, his son, the MCP and Congress members. There is only one, uh, you know, minister left in the cabinet who's still with him. All the others have gone to the Shinde camp, but he won't be resigning. So that suspense is over. Udhav Thakre will not be resigning today at that cabinet, which is widely being seen to be his final cabinet meeting. So Udhav has decided to fight it out for the moment and will not be resigning at least today. Uh, Kamlesh, make sense of this for us. There was a sense that, uh, you know, there could be some finality today from Udhav's side, but it looks like he's gotten that support from his cabinet. Not that that means anything mathematically in terms of a floor test, but for today he's decided not to resign, Kamlesh. Uh, well, indeed, it seems uh, Uddhav Thakre has, uh, at this point, uh, uh, taken a multi-pronged uh, strategy. Uh, on mm. one hand, we've seen leaders like Sanjay Raut and Aditya Thakre being very vocal and aggressive against the rebels. On the other hand, Uddhav Thakre keeping the windows of Reproachma open uh, for the rebel MLAs. He has uh, uh, issued a very emotional le letter to his Shiv Sena MLAs who are in uh, Guwahati saying that, I'm concerned about you. We can sit across and talk, but you have to come back. Uh, let us sit and solve all your problems as the chief of a family, as the head of the family, I'm willing to talk to you. So Uddhav Thakre issuing that very emotional note uh, to the rebel MLAs and keeping that window of reproach open uh, for the MLAs. And uh, there were uh, talks uh, in the power, uh, corridors of power yeah. this afternoon that Uddhav Thakre, while holding that cabinet meet, might just be uh, might just be addressing it as his last cabinet meeting. But after speaking, having a word with Uddhav Thakre and uh, Congress Chief Sonia Gandhi, Uddhav Thakre seems to be getting the support from the cabinet and uh, they are trying to deal it. Now, what our sources are telling us that uh, uh, leaders who are supporting Uddhav Thakre, especially from the NCP and Congress, are asking him, are requesting mm. him to hold it on, hold the fight. And Uddhav Thakre, the way we have seen, trying uh, uh, to uh, approach the MLA, uh, 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 issuing an emotional appeal is uh, trying to hold the ground for some time because more the rebellion is delayed, more the chances of the rebellion falling down Thakre knows that very well. So it's clear politics, it's mind game and it's also politics at, at its best. You know, since that appeal that Udhav Thakre has made to the rebel MLAs earlier today, Kamlesh, has there been any movement on that? Are you getting the sense that there is some kind of two-way communication between Matoshri and Radisson Blue Hotel? Uh, well, Uddhav Thakre camp has been claiming that they are in touch with 15 to 20 of the rebel yeah. MLAs. But on uh, no, with every passing day, we see a couple of videos coming in from the rebel camp 
saying that they are with Ekna Chinde camp. They have come here on their own. They have their issues against the NCP, especially they, some of them have their issues against Uddhav Thakre. But lately, we have seen in last couple of days, they haven't spoken anything about Uddhav Thakre. They have hmm. uh, only upped their ante against the NCP, saying that it's the NCP and Congress right. uh, that we are angry about and that should be addressed by the party chief. So, uh, there has, uh, though Shiv Sena claims that there is communication, on the other hand, we have MLAs from Guwahati issuing uh, uh, videos every day saying that the, these are the issues that we want our party chief to address. These are the issues we want the chief minister to address. Kamlesh, thanks very much for that. So that's the breaking story we have right now. The Congress and the NCP have rallied behind Udhav Thakre and persuaded him not to resign. Even if that was something that he was planning to do, uh, that's not going to happen at this cabinet meeting that is still very much on. We're hearing from the inside while the meeting is still on that he will not be resigning today. Now, as Devendra Fadnavis meets his bosses in Delhi, including J.P. Nadda, the BJP chief, and shortly to meet Home Minister Amit Shah as well, the raging Maharashtra political turbulence has entered what is widely seen to be a final lap. The BJP MLA Sudhir Mungantivar has dropped a huge hint about joining hands with the Shinde camp. The BJP MLA says the party is ready to tie up with the rebels if Shinde comes with a proposal. Now, is Udhav Thakre fighting the inevitable is the big question. Back-to-back -back MLAs joining rebel clan. And now a major setback from the Supreme Court. Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre is losing on many fronts as the political crisis intensifies and Mahavikas Agadi teeters on the brink of collapse. The Bharatiya Janta Party has dropped a big hint. Abhi to ye maang Sri Ekna Chinde ji ke gat ki aur se ki gai hai हमने उस पे भी ध्यान दिया है और आने वाले दिनों में जैसा मैंने कहा जैसे जैसे गटों की ओर से प्रस्ताव आएंगे उस प्रस्ताव के बाद फिर कोर टीम बैठकर उचित निर्णय करेगी द बीजेपी ब्रोक इट साइलेंस ऑन द पावर टसल इवन एज अ स्लो ऑफ मीटिंग्स टुक प्लेस ऑन मंडे नाइट एट द लीडर ऑफ द ओपोजिशन देवेंद्र फडणवीसस हाउस टीम उद्धव हाउएवर इज पुटिंग अप अ ब्रेव फ्रंट Uddhav son and the only Sena MLA in the cabinet to stick to him, Aditya Thakre, has dared rebel MLAs and their chief Ekna Shinde to a floor test. If they're truly courageous and rebellious, come here, resign from your posts, have the courage to stand for elections in front of us, and then we'll see. Shiv Sena ally Congress, so far a mute spectator, has jumped to Uddhav's defence. Our pass majority has. वहाँ के भी होने के बाद भी मेजॉरिटी हमारे पास है जिस तरह से एमएलएस को ले जाकर बेहोशी का इंजेक्शन दिया जा रहा है उनको मारा जा रहा है ये भी बात छुपी नहीं है और 50 करोड़ रुपए एक एमएलए को देने की बात भी जो उनके तरफ से आ रही है तो ये जो गोड़े बाजार जो चल रहा है इसके पर भी हमारा ध्यान है और हम भी कोर्ट में जाएंगे और कोर्ट से हमको जस्टिस मिलेगा सोशल इंडिया टूडे that Ekna Shinde, who is camping with nearly 50 legislators, including independents in Guwahati, has already met Devendar Fadnavis in Vadodra on June 25th. The question now is, will the Shinde Sena move in for the kill? Bureau Report, India Today. Now, the rebel MLA sitting in Guwahati have been watching the pot churn in faraway Maharashtra, their home, let's remember that, from Assam for over a week's time now, lodged. Well, don't feel sorry for them because they're all in a luxurious five-star hotel. The Shinde camp has been planning its next move, but what else is unfurling inside that camp? Nobody's been allowed to go in, but we've got insight into what those rebel MLAs have been doing with their time. Take a look. A big Maharashtra nail biter on cards. And these lawmakers hold the key. The celebrations are on hold for now, despite the Supreme Court boost. However, the Josh is definitely high at the Shinde camp. But what's really happening inside the Radisson Hotel in Guwahati, hosting rebel MLAs? Ever since the Ekna Shinde camp 
gathered support of two thirds of the Shiv Sena Legislative Party, and with the numbers continuing to swell, the rebel camp is on a massive high. According to sources, there were plans a foot to burst crackers inside the hotel to celebrate and calling the. I don't be too hopeful for the channel. The people of the state wish and hope and pray for the chief minister to serve the people. The most important thing is everyone knows that no one stands with traitors. There is a group of MLAs out there in Guwahati who wants to come back. Uh, the chief minister's appeal to everyone out there, whoever wants to be truly a cynic and wants to come back, should come back, may come back and have a heart to heart with the chief minister. <laughs> बाजूला रॉयल्टी Make your media plans smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at ajtag.com or call double nine double nine eight nine two one seven one. testing shows us that there is a vast potential in the commercial use of drones especially in urban area and this is a further step of creating a economically viable model Make your media plans smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. You are watching India Today.
पायावर आणि धर्मवीर आनंदी साहेबांची जी शिकवण आहे एकनाथ शिंदे sits in the eye of a political storm in Maharashtra. Shinde's rebel camp against incumbent Chief Minister Udav Thakre is making the Chief Minister anxious. While raising the flag of rebellion against Udav Thakre, he was also heard taking the name of Bala Sahib Thakre as well as Anand Dighe. When he took Anand Dighe's name with Bal Thakre, it naturally raised some eyebrows. Now the question many are asking, who is anand dighe and what is his role in maharashtra politics was anand dighe really a leader of equal stature to be mentioned alongside bala saheb thakre anand dighe was the shiv sena leader who taught eknath shinde the ins and outs of the politics thereby becoming his political guru anand dighe was born on 27th january 1952 in tembi naka area of thane and was hailed as bal thakre of thane anand dighe was one of the early leaders of the shiv sena who played an important role in solidifying shiv sena's hold in thane influenced by bala saheb thakre's speech and ideology anand dighe joined the shiv sena at the age of 18 used to attend every meeting of Bal Thakre in Thane Kalyan area. He went ahead with Hindutva and Marathi identity. Bal Thakre was quite impressed with him and even assigned Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has just landed in the United Arab Emirates. He's there to convey his personal condolences on the demise of former president of the Gulf nation and Abu Dhabi ruler Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Modi was received by the current UAE president Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on his arrival. These are images from the airport. India, remember, had announced one day state mourning following the demise of a friend of India, Sheikh Khalifa. These are images of the current president of the UAE receiving the Indian prime minister who's there to personally offer his condolences. I want to go across to Gaurav Savant. Gaurav, the significance of these images. Extremely significant image there, Shiv, and especially the fact that Sheikh Mohammed uh, Zayed Al Nahyan came to the airport to receive Prime Minister Narendra Modi with the royal family. The Prime Minister was returning to India uh, from Germany after a successful G7 summit and the Prime Minister made it a point that he wanted to personally land at uh, Abu Dhabi and uh, express his personal condolences at the passing away of uh, Sheikh Khalifa uh, uh, Al Nayan uh, uh, bin Zayed because of the warm ties between India and the United Arab Emirates uh, and the relationship that has grown uh, tremendously yeah. since both countries have invested so much in a strategic relationship that the two countries enjoy, um, the people-to-people -people contact. In fact, uh, uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan came to the airport to receive Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Shiv, you'd recall uh, in 2017, he was the chief guest uh, at the Republic Day Parade uh, celebrations. Uh, yes. Again, something that shows how close the two countries are during COVID. Uh, you know, India ensured uh, uh, food security was maintained. People-to-people -people ties have been uh, very, very strong. Trade relationship and economic relationship being made stronger uh, every passing year in the past eight years. So a lot being invested uh, by both sides and also yes. by the leaders on both sides, Shiv. Very, very significant and symbolic images in the context of everything that's happening in the world and in the country right now. Gaurav, thanks so much for making sense of that for us. And finally, the social media trends today are dominated by yesterday's arrest of a popular fact checker. I'm a believer both in free speech and the law of our land. My permanent hope is that our laws are never vindictively applied. But the thought I'd like to leave you with today is a bigger one. Nearly two weeks ago, right here on Five Live, we broke our silence on the story of Saad Ansari, this 19-year-old student of the outskirts of Mumbai who wrote a Facebook post criticizing his religion and seeming to wonder what all the outrage over Nupur Sharma was really about. He was dragged out of his house physically assaulted on camera by a mob and then arrested by the Maharashtra police. Today, ladies and gentlemen, marks 16 days of young Saad Ansari in jail 
for a Facebook post, he's still behind bars. So today, I'd like to leave you with the hypocrisy of our free speech crusaders, those who express shock over one arrest but remain silent on others because it doesn't suit their agenda. Let them know that their selectivity contaminates and ruins any platform that they stand on. Let's end this your free speech versus my free speech. India has bigger things to achieve. Everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjthug.com. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Powered by Philips Beard Trimmer. Adapts to you. In association with LIC Harpal Aapke Saath. NetMeds, India Ki Apni Pharmacy. SBI Pre-Approved Personal Loan in Just 4 Clicks. Geomart, Har Ghar Ka Mart. While Raut threatens, देखिए मेरा मेरा आवाज आप बंद नहीं कर सकते। आप ED की नोटिस भेज दीजिए, या मेरी गर्दन उड़ा दो। मैं गोहाती से रास्ते से नहीं निकलूँगा। उद्धव makes emotional appeal। ठाकरे ने गले आश्रु आधा भर, 